Junior Dragster. My name is Bill. If you haven't learned about it yet, go ahead and check out us, check us out at Junior Dragster Plus. Uh, that'll be you know I'll add a link at the uh, bottom of this uh, video here. And my name is uh, my username on the board is Wild Bill. Go ahead, and ask it all the questions you want. There are no silly questions, just, you know, we've heard it all before, and we've all been there before, so go ahead, give us a shout out, and check us out, and we'll be more, we'll all be more than happy to help you. Now, on to the video. This video here, we're going to discuss bearings, and installing an axle bearing into a uh, bearing cassette. Not all that hard, but worth taking a look at. Let's move you in closer here and try and give you a close-up view of what we got going on here. Alright, what you got here is basically this is your bearing here, this is your cassette. You know, it would be mounted in the car with three bolts. You, you'll notice you got two little notches right here, with you know, on one side and then, you know, nothing on the other. These two notches here are, at, you know, the entry and exit points for uh, the bearing. Well, what you got to do, get yourself something, you know, typically I'd use uh, something that's about the same size as the axle here. I don't particularly seem to be able to find anything like that right now, so we're just going to use this little uh, 5 h diameter steel or whatever. But what you want to do is get it in there, get your bearing rolled over. You know, once it's started like that, it should be pretty easy to rotate around you know you get it lined up with those notches and just fall it right out installation you got it get it in there roll it in now this one I've actually had a, taken apart and put together a couple times so it kind of goes a little easier. You may need to, uh, you know, once you once you actually get the bearing, you know, started in there, you may need to take your axle or you know pry bar or whatever you got laying around that'll actually you know you don't want too much force. You don't you don't want to damage the bearing. That, this is an old bearing that I actually swapped out of. Uh, Taylor's car, so don't really care if I damage it, but you don't want to damage yours. Then, when you make sure when you're putting them in the car, as you you can see you can rotate and just float up the you know bearing there. You want to make sure when you get both of them in, you know leave the set screws out, make sure they're lined up so your axle can pass through nice and smooth between both. That way you don't have one bearing cocked over, you know, on a little bit of an angle, putting a little too much pressure on your axle. That way everything's going to run nice and through, your bearings are going to last a good long time. And... Oh, that'll do it for uh, this video on uh, installing a bearing in, into a cassette. I hope this helped you out, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.